them, subjected them to the, uh, uh, to disciplinary procedure, including huyu mtu ameimba Yesu ni nyandue, hata waimba hiyo tena tumeanzisha procedure yake to expel him out of the uh, society. But because there is there's a procedure that says you must give him time akuja njitete, tumeanza hiyo process leo imetangazwa katika special annual general meeting. We are going to bring order and the sanity into the running ai ibindi liti ya kivudia na mundu ni wa wili yeti ya adhina mwana asubi ya muziai na ke muziai ni wa sometha cha mwana weniwe wye college ile tongo wa chiba kenya ile kwetwa kasarani catering and beauty college oyu mwana waguna mini school nuka mwekalia ingi muziai niki mutuwe college ni ya kasarani nundu kimanisio kimbe niki bithu kithini selekali kina miaka misio ya umanisi ya siana sito na pia kasarani catering mena branches mbi nge wala mena branch ba ya musini wake twi mena branch musini wa masako na mena branch elanene ela main campus musini wa ilobi oba kasarani yo wetelete chao mwana wako una mini form 4 oyu ve ela tumiru ve ela tumita intake ni yende na siana situ ni yende na koswa yo wikalia mwana wako musini kina nona mini school na kimanzio kila kesio kita wa kasarani catering and beauty college kivo mena courses mbaka short courses elangwa as short courses ni asia see we advertisement in isu wa mino soma ba uyulu nuko na courses yo mbaka namba ila utonoma kuni asimu na yo oyu wa mino toa mwana wakufa kasarani gettering and beauty college nuko hitha we shua kana nuko mandi wane saa mbaka aandikwa nuko hitha aikwatia kila wa asome ye nundu wa kasarani ni metha meridi kumandi ya mwana wakufa na kuya kana branje situ siye kila wa ndoyu musie ni wa getui tuina branje musie ni wa masako tuina branje ana kuya Ova ilovi kana vaki tambasia tuena branch ila ni main branch ila yivaya kasarani na ndi vicha mwana waku kasarani aso mithwe akwa atewea nikenda onagumu siya hii uwane matunda ma mwana ulawa mini omu so mithia nuka aso mithia mwana apike form 4 na yumwe kwa uu nundu ndee so kutedia lakini wa muwete kasarani catering and beauty college maunu magume kwa hitha mesawa na mwana nukuende ya nesa uwiko mano ya muka suania kasarani Beauty and catering, kana catering and beauty. Mr. Ezekiel Mutua, I'm the CEO of the Music Corporation Society of Kenya. Music Corporation Society of Kenya is a collective management organization, a company limited by guarantee, authorized by the laws of Kenya to collect and distribute royalties on behalf of its members. We were founded in 1983. Today we are 40 years. We are celebrating 40 years. Uh, we are calling it MCSK at 40. And today we end our special annual general meeting in Manzoni, where we brought together over 300 members and those who are following online, 1,540. Uh, the quorum normally for our annual general meeting is 800 people, but we were over 16,000, 1,600, wale walikuwa kwa mtandao and the ones who are here physically. The annual general meeting is a requirement of the law uh, as per the Companies Act 2015 that requires companies to do their annual general meeting, uh, bring their audited reports and be able to submit the same to the register of companies. But more than that, you are all aware that MCSK is on a rebound. We are revitalizing this society for the sake of the members. We want our members to become rich. Some of the richest people in the world, like I said, are musicians. They're in this sector. When you look at people like Rihanna, Jay-Z, people like Beyonce, there are many musicians across the globe, even here in South Africa, in uh, Nigeria, closer to home in Tanzania, people like Diamond Platinum are billionaires. They have their own companies, they employ people, they are running the economy of the country because they have made money for music. But here in Kenya, despite our talent and the potential that we have, uh, due to cartels and because of negligence by the government to fight piracy and to streamline the ecosystem of music, many entertaining us for many years. There are many gifted and talented musicians in this country, but there are very few who know the business of music. Unapata mtu ni msani, hako na kipawa, na naimba, lakini ya nakitumia tu kuentertain, ajui business ya corporate vile na operate. Business ya corporate is an ecosystem. It has many players who must do their role for it to succeed and become profitable. One, the artist must produce quality music, 
that is sellable to the market. Not the kind of nonsense that you are seeing. Watu wakifanya miziki kama ile mefanywa na yule pastor kutoka kisi. Ambao ni naikondem in the strongest terms possible. Because it amounts to blasphemy. And it's not a song that will be listened by sane people. It will be removed from the YouTube. And it's something that we are encouraging our members not to ever entertain. We are encouraging our members to produce quality music that can sell. So the ecosystem starts with the artists themselves. Then it moves to the consumers of music. Lazima wale watu wana maoteli, wako na mba, wako natumia kwa matatu, wale wako na broadcasting stations, ambazo lazima zitumie muziki, ili biashara ifanyike, lazima wa watu wajue. Kwa mabila muziki, biashara zao ziwezi endelea. Hoteli kama hii, uwezi ukawa tu unauza mandazi, unauza chakula, na ule muziki unaochezwa kule uoni kama ni part of the ecosystem of your business. Lazima pia ushugulike na upate lesson. Na kile tunaimiza ni kwamba consumers of music na wao walipe. Serikali nayo pia iko na jukumu. Jukumu ya kuhakikisha kwamba kuna sheria ambazo zinafaa proper policy framework which promotes growth and spurs growth of the creative economy. The creative economy is the best platform for creation of jobs and wealth for our youth. And therefore it's very important for the government to focus on this area. The government is never good at doing business world over. World over where the creative of Hollywood. It was not built by the government, it was built by the private sector. Nollywood is not built by the government. It was built Nigeria is the second highest contributor to the GDP of Nigeria. Hollywood is what defines America. There would be no America without Hollywood. And you can mention them in South Africa everywhere. Music, the arts, uh, performing arts and everything define the culture and the social cultural uh, 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 grounding and, 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 and uh, underpinning of the society. And so music is not just music. It's also a part of our culture and our cultural heritage. And we need to pay attention. So the government must facilitate growth. The work of the government is not to do business. The way some are saying, and the government will introduce e-citizen to collect royalties for musicians. No, that is not the policy of even our president, uh, President Ruto. The policy of this government, Kenya Kwanza government, is actually to privatize even state parastatos and give them the autonomy to be run like private companies for profitability. So how do you imagine then, while the president is pushing for privatization of parastatos and state corporations, somebody wants to take a private company like MCSK and then you see the government will collect money. In any case, there's a lot of controversy about e-citizen. And I want to tell musicians, the day that will happen, that is the end of your music. So we are calling for this ecosystem to reason together. We work together. And as Music Corporate Society of Kenya, we are leading by example. We are going to play above board. There will be no corruption in this organization. There will be no intimidation in this, in this organization. We are going to serve musicians. We are going to encourage them to join MCSK. We have seen, since we started distributing about three weeks ago, over 200 people have applied to join the society. And we are hoping to get more numbers that are coming. We have seen actually some of the most celebrated artists, including you in Ukambani, people like Toby Bisengo, joining MCSK recently. He said he had given up, but now they are coming back. Olga Obina. Today we have seen who, uh, I think it's the first time she's attending an NGM of Music Operating oh. Society of Kenya. Tony Yadundo. All the way, he came the, uh, the whole night, traveled the whole night from Migori to attend this NGM. And you have seen them in their diversity. And, and from young to old, from region to region, we are people from Mombasa, from Western, from every part of the country. We are building that unity because the unity of our artists is their strength. The moment musicians are united, the way they are united in Tanzania, in the Nigeria, in South Africa, this is the beginning of building a foundation in which they will spur economic growth. They will fight piracy, they will push government to recognize copyright, and they'll be able to stand together. So mine is to make an appeal to the government. Leave us alone. We are like banks. We are like the others, uh, you know, uh, uh, private professions, like the engineering like Law Society of Kenya, like accountants. You have no business entering into the space of a private company. Music is a private right. You do not, the government does not support musicians to produce music. The government does not buy music. How does the government then say that they will introduce these citizen to want to sell it for two shillings? So be it. You cannot determine 
how much I want to sell my phone, and you cannot say I must sell it through the government. So what we want to say is encourage CMOs to grow. Support the work of MCSK, the transformation that is so obvious, unless you're blind, you can see that there's transformation, there's a revival, and there's vibrance in MCSK. Support that. The work of the government is to create an enabling environment for companies to thrive, for people to do business, for musicians, for the creatives to be able to do their trade, which is their creativity, and to sell that creativity. And so we encourage the government to support us and work with us so that we can create jobs for our youth or some of whom are committing suicide because they have given up. Some of them have degrees. Mutu anaenda anasomea, akona shiada, lakini hakuna kazi. Lakini katika usani, unaweza pata usani kama huyo, anakuwa bilionea bila kusumbua serekali. Na akilipa, akilipa, tukimulipa royote zake. Tunalipa with the holding tax. Right now we are going to pay almost uh, 2 million out of the 20 million that we are giving because we are paying 5% with holding tax. So it's very important for the government to see the nexus between the vibrance of the creative economy and our contribution to the GDP of our country. And therefore we are appealing to the government to give us support, create a facilitative environment, work with us. Today I want to thank our board and our members who came from far and wide and we are in the most peaceful, the most colorful, the most celebratory AGM ever in the 40 years of MCSK. We thank God that we can have a time like this where we can give hope back to the musicians. We can revive their hopes and know that their society will serve them. This society will create jobs for our youth. This society will contribute to the GDP of our country. And this society will encourage our moral engineering and vibrant that honors its morals, its culture, and its heritage. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh... CEO, maswali ambayo nimeuliza eh sasa hivi kuna a certain group ambao mm. iko mtaani mm. e, wanaongea with affecting against zile vitu wewe unafanya mm. na ile maendeleo umeileta mm. na so far tukisikia ka ndio e, tukisikia uki ukiongelea hiyo kitu mm. sijui kikifupi unaweza elezea watu nini because ziko mitaani watu mm. wana wanaongea sana mm. e, wakipinga kile kitu ambao unafanya Wakati kambuni kama hii ambayo ilikuwa imetekwa nyara na makateo imeanza kuamka na imepata kiongozi mimi nimekuwa katika uongozi miaka mingi tena nimesoma vizuri sana nimesoma hata hii copyright nilifanya my masters in media studies at the University of Nairobi na hii unit ya copyright nilipata A we are doing 13 units i scored 11 A's and 2 B's hebu mtu mmoja Kenya aniletee rekodi kama hiyo you know, they were used to scaring away musicians because, like I said, many artists are talented, but they are not necessarily, they have not gone to school, they don't have degrees, they don't have PhDs. So they were used to people who are only talented. Now, I can be a pan and be a share of a new me nilikuwa secretary general wa Kenya Union of Journalists nilikuwa director of information nimeongoza kambuni nikazi revive zikiwa zina kitu kwa hivyo hao wanaongea wanaongea wakidhania ni ile uongozi ya zamani nawaambia mambo yamebadilika kuna uongozi mpya uongozi ambao na base wa one na moral values number 2 uongozi ambao unapeana hope kwa wale members wetu ambao tunasimamia number 3 uongozi ambao ni imara na unalenga kuinua hali ya uchumi ya wanachama wetu sio msanii kuimba alafu anawezi lipa nyumba msanii kuimba alafu anawezi peleka watoto wake shuleni we are making sure that our artists will become rich and we are giving them real money the person who got 757000 Wako hapa watu wa Machakos kumeingia karibu mamilioni i think not less than 2 million ambao zimeingia eneo la Eastern kutoka kwa royalties ambayo tumedistribute sasa hii that is money going to the pockets of people who would otherwise have been very hopeless some of them would have committed suicide we are saving lives we are saving our economy and i think people should know this is not the old mcsk people used to talk of all manner of shenanigans that used to happen kwa hivyo wengine wanadhania ni ile mcsk ya zamani nataka kuambia kuna uongozi mpya mimi ninajua kile kinaendelea bodi yetu ni bodi ambayo imeimarika na inajua kazi yake tuna uongozi shupavu uongozi ambao unaongozwa na maadili na mipangilio ya kisheria watu wengi wanatukonfuse wanadhania sisi ni parastato ya serikali kwa hivyo wengine wanaongea tu wajui 
unaona hata wengine wa, 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 wanaingilia watu wa serikali wanaingilia mipangilio yetu na sisi ni companies kama banks sisi tunaingi, tuna, ta, tuna support uchumi wa nchi na kwa hivyo wale wanaongea wanaongea kwa kutojua Atuwezi simamisha mambo ambayo tunafanya kwa ajili ya watu ambao waelewi. Lazima tuwaelimishe tukaendelea. And we have created programs for literacy, uh, public uh, awareness and we will ensure that we work with them. But we must focus on our mandate, do what is right. Today we have to do a special AGM because it's the requirement of the law. We cannot stop it because people are opposing. Wengine walikuwa wanasema why are you doing it online? We end over 300 people here. The MCSK has 16,000 members. You cannot put them unless you go to Kasarani. And the logistics will not allow. Many meetings at the Serikali, zimeenda online. Tunafanya mikutano online. Sasa wengine wakianza kupinga na tulipeana notice, ukitaka kupiga pia ulikuwa na more than 21 days to put your memorandum useme utaki ifanyike online. But if you start now maligning people, if you start speaking ill of the CEO or the board, how is it benefiting the artist? I think we should all consult and learn to respect each other. Leo kuna watu wengi about 14 people. We have expelled them for five years. Because part of this re re-engineering and the revitalization of this society will include bringing back discipline. If you are going to be tearing down your organization, even political parties do not allow in discipline. So we have put them, subjected them to uh, uh, to disciplinary procedure, including we mutu ameimba yesu ninyanduo, ata waimba yyo tena, tumeanzisha procedure yake to expel him out of the uh, society. But because there is there's a procedure that says you must give him time, akuja njitete, tumeanza yyo process, leo imetangaswa katika special annual general meeting. We are going to bring order and the sanity into the running of the society. They believe in that, because you can leave, it's not by force. Sasa si toko unde chama yako kama wewe unaongoza vizuri huko nje kama serikali kuna mipangilio mizuri si unde chama yao huko the 16000 members who have agreed to join MCSK they have done it by choice and kwa hiari yao kwa hivyo wale watu wanaongea kule nje ni watu wajui they will not distract us we are going to focus on our agenda talking of uh, that content ama wale wanaimba hizo uh, ngoma ambazo ni si, hazina maadili ya ki, ki society sijui kama board uh, ni kitu gani ama ni mikakati gani ambayo mmeiweka kuhakikisha kwamba nyimbo kama hizo hazitaimbwa na hazitasikizwa hapa nchini um you know our mandate is not regulatory i used to be in kenya film classification board which deals with regulatory uh, mandate here we deal with the economic rights of the members however Part of that economic right is to sensitize them, to create content that builds moral values, that builds society, not to destroy it, and that uh, encourages our children to behave well. If you sing a song that is blasphemous, if you sing a song that scandalizes even our government, if you sing a song that makes people unpatriotic, then you cannot be our member. And there are procedures, because part of our mandate is to build a well-cultured society aligned to Article 11 of our, of our, of our constitution that says that culture is the foundation of the Kenyan society and the cumulative civilization of the Kenyan people. That cumulative civilization of the Kenyan people includes and is not limited to good manners in the content that we produce. Vulgarity, maneno uh, machafu, mambo ya obscenity, mambo ya profanity, blasphemy, occultism, things like those, you cannot promote them. The same way you cannot promote terrorism in a song. You cannot promote murder in a song. You cannot promote those kind of antisocial behavior. We are not going to allow our members to blaspheme. Whether Islamic do that, we will remove you from the society and then the law will deal with you. So what we are doing is to create awareness. We have today taken a decision as a special AGM of Music Corporate Society of Kenya to take action on the pastor who has sung a song that is considered blasphemous. It was, we have subjected to public opinion in a meeting of over 300 people today here in Manzoni and everybody has said that song should be pulled down out of the uh, uh, digital uh, media platforms. However, because there is a process of fair uh, procedure and giving him an opportunity to be heard, we have said we will write to him, subject him to a disciplinary procedure, but we are appealing the law to take its course. Churches should, take, uh, should object to this. This man is a family member, he comes from a family, he has a community, he has a church probably. I think we have gone amok as a society. And that kind of song, madness, ridiculous propensity 
that is should not be around, allowed even in society. I think the society should take measures to bring back sanity. And the family should have spoken to him. Sometimes I doubt whether people are in their normal senses. Kuna pressure mingu naeza pa thaniya mtu wa mevaa suitu thaniya ni nomo na kumbi ya kona shida. So I think we need to bring conversation about mental, uh, mental, mental, mental well, well, wellness so that people like those can also be checked if they are okay. Because when you start veering into that to uh, do cloud chasing, because when you are in the middle of the world, you will trade. You will have to say that you are in the middle of the world, and you will have to be anti-social, and you will have to trade. Kile tunachofanya sisi ni kusensitize. Mandate ya content classification is under Kenya Film Classification Board, and we are asking them to do their job as well. I'm going to call the CEO and ensure that we align in the approach that we are taking and for them to know that we will not defend a member like that when action is taken against them we have defended many members who are being arrested the national musicians who are being uh, deported out of the country because they, they they behave well and they are in good standing with the society but when a member decides to go against what we believe to be what is morally right then they are on their own and so we want to encourage our members to desist from creating profane and vulgar and obscene uh, content that is not fit to be consumed either by children or even by the public and ensure that the content that they create just the same way we regulate the food that we eat they need to know that uh, content is powerful and it influences people i think the agenda that guy has is demonic because it tends to scandalize uh, the name of god and the name of jesus and he's using sexualized content because it looks like the norm that if content does not have sexual innuendo it will not sell that kind of madness it speaks about laziness of mind like some come you it has no creativity it is total crap it is nauseating and that guy should be caught out for what he is is insane yeah and that content should be pulled i think we don't even need to summon youtube there is freedom of expression but it does not extend to profanity and blasphemy. Because if you encourage that, if you try that with Islam, try and do a song like that about Muhammad, you will be killed. You will be lynched. Is that what they are waiting? That Christianity must also go that way, where you start mocking our faith, and then we take law into our hands? People should not allow that. Let the police take action. Let YouTube remove that thing. It is not shating. It is obnoxious. And it should not be allowed to be consumed by the public. Yeah. Thank you.